Welcome to Hey Man, I'm Josh. I'm Jacob. Hey man. Hey man, what's up? Not much. What's going on with you? Not much, man. I'm I'm tired. Yeah. I'm just up to like 4 a.m. cleaning the house. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What what does that entail? Oh, uh, you know, like sweeping, swiffering, vacuum, dishes. Uh also, Iman is doing a lot, my girlfriend is doing a lot of uh like not home improvement stuff, but like, you know, wants to make the house look a little more like filled with the like like pictures and we just she finished that wallpaper in the bathroom which you haven't seen yet so we were just doing like handy shit last night forever no so right. it was a yeah it was a it was an interesting time to ask me to do a bunch of things yeah four in the morning she, yeah i got home from an open mic and she was like hey i would uh, like some help with some stuff and it was like nice <laughs> uh what else is happening you have a good weekend yeah man portland was fucking Crazy. It was such a good time. Yeah. Some great crowds. We did a little bit of acid on Saturday. We did indeed. Uh huh. You uh you almost went over the top with it again. Yeah. I wouldn't say over the top with it. Yeah. But like, you know, it's just uh that that's 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 the fun thing about that is every time you take a little bit and you're like, Yeah, I could take a little more, but you never let whatever the first dose was set in and then it all Hit you at once. It's like take, you know what I'm saying? It's like taking an edible after an hour saying, oh, I didn't feel anything. And yeah. Then, and then twice, all of it hits you all at once. Yeah, that was a, it was a good time though. It was a good time. I love the Portland. It was five raucous yeah. shows. Really good time. Sandy Danto did great. Mm -hmm. You were great. Saw my buddy Jeff Tate while I was there. Mm -hmm. He was super funny. Yep. Yeah, there were great shows in Portland and good food. Mm hmm. Uh, we didn't eat the, our favorite food there, the but por the pork belly. We'll be yep. back for it. Yeah, shout out Thunder Chief as well for stopping by. Fuck yeah, and uh, and dropping off uh, an insane pack for us. We appreciate you. Yeah, always fun to see Thunder Chief, um, and definitely the purveyor of the purveyor. Maybe I don't know if that's the right word, but he's got the best mushrooms out there. That's yep. That's very true. There's no doubt about that. And we're in San Diego this weekend for Father's Day weekend. And um, Caitlin's going to be down there. I'm, gonna be, I'm excited to see her. Mm -hmm. um, and Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which is different for us instead of Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yep. But super excited. And San Diego was beautiful. Yeah. It'd be I'm nice to get out of the 137 degree heat. And have know? some good weather. Yeah. I'm really excited for that. Do another podcast tomorrow night as well with the the Natural Buddies. Yeah. That's um, awesome. And then... uh. There was something else there was that I wanted to say, but I completely forgot. Oh, real quick before we jump into any business, uh, and where we are next, and for the rest of the for the rest of the month, um, six years since my buddy, uh, my best friend Jack Jackson Odell passed away. That was this weekend. Six years on the dot. Um, shout out my guy. Love you, dude. I know you're everywhere. I know you're with me all the time. Love you. Miss you. That's all I want to say. All right, perfect, man. Yeah, that was a. Interesting, weird realization to have, you know, in the in the hotel room, you know, at two a.m. packing my bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what do you got today, dude? Uh, I don't know. Like, I just i I was thinking about like generationally, like we're all kind of like you and me, definitely different. There are some things that I don't like about my generation that I like about my generation. Is there anything about your generation that you that you don't like that you hate? Like for me. And this is a good thing and a bad thing, but for me, I I think my generation's kind of soft and too opinionated for no reason. Like they they automatically think that they're smarter than you know superiors above them, but also at the same time, like at the same time of having that attitude, have the attitude of being too soft. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but I would say you know the with the good is the bad, right? Right. And in this case, with the bad is the good. So. One of the reasons that your generation is a little arrogant mm -hmm. with that stuff is because they have all of the information at their fingertips all of the time. Right, but and, sometimes the information they, is true. But they grew up that way. Yeah. They grew up with every answer, and there was never some, there's never something they don't know because you can just Google it. Right. So that adds to it. So I think there's good and bad with that. And same with the soft. Like, you know... You guys are softer because you didn't grow up 90% unsupervised like a lot of generations before you. Right. Good and bad, you know? The good in that is that 
you were not unsupervised and there was, you know, I can think of a gazillion times that I probably should have died. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but so as far as my generation, man, I don't know. I, 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 is there anything I don't like about Gen X? It has to be something. I don't know. I, I, ah. Trying to think what, like, we are a little rough around the edges, probably. Mm -hmm. But I don't mind that. Um, I, yeah, dude, I, I mean, look, I'm in it. So what am I, you know, I, I'm in it. I, I, I like how we turned out. Well, I think we had the perfect balance of freedom and um, supervision. I think we had great music. I love our movies. I loved our TV. I loved just the right amount of technology. That's okay. huge for me. Like I, 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 people are like, I hate technology. I don't hate technology. I hate this amount of invasive technology. I hate the fact that you have, you're reachable all the time. I hate the fact that you know, I get up and look at my phone. It's just become a habit. Mm -hmm. And so I, I miss out on a lot of life, but I don't think that has anything to do with my generation. Like I, I, you know, we're not good with, you know, setting up Wi-Fi passwords. No, I could take over the family right now. For sure you could. Yeah. But I, I, I you know, it's, I, it, it's hard for me, man. I, I don't know. Because if I look at the characteristics of my generation, I don't hate them. I don't hate them. You know, yeah, there's not a single thing you don't like about your generation. What would you, how would you classify my generation? Kevin and Karen? Kevin and Karen. Like Karen, like your generation. If I, like, if I, if you look. Your generation. My generation? Your generation fucking anything, anytime anyone has a disagreement. This is so Karen. I'm going to record you. I can't, I'm going to fucking... Re Your generation is You're the most Karen. You snitch online. You guys are the million dollar snitchers. You're, you're telling we me... We have you're, the legit call the manager Karens. You, you, I, for me, you guys have the worst brand of Karen. Like the, let me speak to your manager. The, like there was, oh my God. I was working at that wild and fresh chicken place, remember? Yeah. Uh, when I was, it was like doubling the Jersey Mike's. And there was a woman who was like, hey, I need a refund. There's a hair in my food. And she holds up. It's a cauliflower. But the, the, it's not a hair. It's like the fiber of the cauliflower yeah. that's sticking up. Yeah. And she's like, I need a refund. And I'm like, for what? She goes, there's a hair in my food. I go, you see how every cauliflower in here has a piece of hair? Look at this stuff right here. Yeah. That's the fiber of the cauliflower. It's not hair. I go, if you don't like it, just throw it out. Well, I'm not going to give you a refund. She's like, let me speak to your manager. And then my manager wasn't there. So what I did is I just did. I did. I was like, okay, give me one second. And I did a 360 and I was like, hi, I'm the manager. What, what can I do for you? Nailed it. And she was like, you're kind of an asshole. And I'm like, not really. Like, dude, you tell me. And then my manager actually was there. I just didn't want to go get her because I just wanted to be. Your generation has just the, the phone up. I'm going to put this on TikTok. Can't settle anything face to face person to person shit it is the most annoy when i see somebody look man here's the good thing with the phones we're now seeing shit we never saw before. we never saw before. Mm -hmm. which is important mm -hmm. but here's the bad thing that you have people in your generation who antagonize you behind a phone and deserve to get punched in the mouth. I don't disagree with that. But you just can't do it because they got you. Yeah, I mean, I get that. But I, I, I feel like, I mean, I understand that, like, using the phone as, like, a way of, 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 like, they're almost using it as, like, protection. Yeah. Kind of. But also. Egging you on, man. But also, like. But again, I, I hate to interrupt you, no, but I ahead. do, but I do. Agree, like, it has, it, like I said, good and bad with everything. I'm so much in my life right now, realizing that everything is gray. There's no black and there's no white. It, everything is gray. Right. There's good and there's bad to most things. And the camera, good and the bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also just think like, I don't know. I think you're, 
I also think your generation feel demands a certain respect that I feel like some people don't deserve. Well, I agree with that. Do you know what I mean? I like, agree with that, yeah. Like, I know the whole respect your elders thing, yeah, but I, at the same time... Look, I don't yeah. think I don't think age, a uniform, a, a title, I don't think any of that deserves respect by itself. Right. You can put any motherfucker in a uniform. They don't necessarily deserve my respect. Yeah. You, just because you're older than me, you could still be an asshole. Right. You don't deserve my respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I right. agree with that. Everything, respect is a merit base. Right, right. So I think that's I think that's one thing for me about your generation that like is frustrating. They're like, you know, they're like, oh, you guys have all this and this. When I was a kid, by the way, also is Stand by Me accurate? Like, is that how you were when you were a kid? Stand by Me is the fifties, dude. I did not grow up in the fucking fifties. I didn't walk by the railroad tracks. I mean, no, dude. Seventies, fifties, up- close enough. Like, I didn't grow up in this. I grew up in the eighties, bro. You're- I mean, you grew up in the seventies. You were I born. mean, I was alive yeah, in the seventies. Yeah. You were you were ten by the time the seventies were over. That's growing up kind of in the seventies. I guess. Yeah, okay. That's math. Yep. Yeah, Which yeah. Neither of you and I are good at. No, but I don't remember any of the seventies. Only the eighties. I don't remember a seventy. I don't remember nah, not even a, a seventy. Interesting. Yeah, I don't. I don't I there's flashes, but I don't I remember riding on my big wheel. I remember... You talking about the big wheel where it's like the one, those guys where it's like the giant front wheel and the small back ones, like yeah, the ones from the 20s? Fucking big wheel. Yeah, oh, dude. oh, oh, like the kid big wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah what do you it. think I was talking about? Uh, you mean like a giant bicycle that has one giant yeah, yeah, wheel? Yeah, 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 the one from the 20s. I mean, what do you think? I'm one of the Wright brothers? No, nah, They yeah. invented the Planes. airplane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you know that? I did. Spell no, it. Spell Wright, Wright brothers. W-R-I-G-H-T. Yeah, okay, you got it. Yeah. Nice try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I know some things. I I listen, dude. I would say just like Gary, I, I'm I'm in my at my stage right now where the black and th- this is why politics bothers me because most of us live in the gray, mm-hmm. but you're asked to choose a, a side, even though it, both sides have the dumbest fucking extremists. Right. And so that's the problem is that gray is looked at as weak now. Yeah. You look, you have to make a decision one way or the other when you, but, but understanding that things live in the gray is important. Yeah. You know, there's two sides to it. Yeah. You got to be able to understand both perspectives without, you know, getting, getting angry that someone doesn't believe in what you believe in. My, so my generation dude is, I mean, I would say superior to yours. Disagree. I don't think there's any doubt uh, that my generation is superior. I have every doubt. I, I tell me one thing. Let's you think your generation does better than me. I don't know. I feel like this we had my, the best basketball player. I but I okay basketball player, but I feel like this generation has more of the best athletes of all time. Yeah, but that's evolution, man. People just get bigger, better, faster, stronger. Great. That still means my generation is better than yours. Yeah, but my generation's. The football games were more fun to watch. The basketball games were more fun to watch. I mean, the GOAT is still playing in this generation. The GOAT is not playing in this generation. The GOAT whiner. I'm not. I'm going to agree with that goat, too, but still, he's the still goat, the GOAT. Wa- he's the GOAT flopper. Oh, Vladi Dibak. Vladi Dibak. Vladi Daddy. Vladi, but, but he's like near the GOAT flop. GOAT whine. I think GOAT flop is, uh, is James Harden still. Yeah, dude. I hate that but this is what I'm saying. There was nobody like that. In, no. no, it was it was a rough and tough. That's why I like I don't like watching basketball during the regular season because it's just. Uh, but at least playoff basketball is physical. Yeah, it's Speaking physical. Of Celtics up two zero. Yeah, but Porzingis day to day is a bummer. I still here's the thing though. Even with Porzingis day to day, I think there is zero chance that the Mavs win four out of the next. Yeah, I agree with that. Do you know what I'm Dude. saying? Like, there's no there's no possible chance. Luca would have to play the way he played in game two, and Kyrie would have to not eat dicks yeah. for the next five games. Yeah. Kyrie would have to score 25 plus points a game for them to beat us. Yeah. There's just zero chance. I agree with you. You know what I mean? Uh, dude, I saw bad boys. Oh yeah. So, but pre- let me preface this real quick. Those commercials. previews. Yeah. Terrible. Awful. Terrible. That could, those previews made that movie look like dog. Terrible. Shit. Terrible, terrible, terrible. How was it? You know, listen, if you like Top Gun, I never saw the remake. 
You didn't? No, and my my twins in it, Miles Teller. Yeah. Okay. Um, I if you like Top Gun, you'll like Bad Boys. It's n- nostalgia through the roof. Same style, you know. It, Top Gun had that real cheesy nostalgia humor and all like old like something you'd see right out of an 80s early 90s script like it was very nostalgia and this is exactly what this is man it is it's dripping with corny jokes and corny everything and still super entertaining was it funny though funny dude there are a couple scenes where i laughed out loud interesting martin lawrence funny will smith funny uh just good stuff dude joey pants is in the movie joey pants yeah, you, you, Joey Pants. Is this, is this cousin Joey Shirt? Joey Shorts? No. One of those was funnier. I think Joey Shorts might have been funnier, but I said, Joey, sh- I said Joey Shirt. Would you say Joey Shirt? Joey Shirt. Joey Tights? I think Joey Shorts. Joey Shorts. Joey Shorts. Joey Pants. Joey Pants and his cousin Joey Shorts. No, Jim, Jim, Joey, Joey Jim Pants Shorts? is in there. It's it's a good movie. It's Joey Pants. You know Joey Pants? Is this actual last name Pants? Nah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's maybe that's why I don't know who it is. Yeah, dude, this dude's last name isn't Pants. Who knows? You think people are naming their last names are Garments? Dude, the a lot... I'm going to look up... Karen Moo Moo? I'm, what? I'm going to look up weird lists... Bobby Tuxedo? I'm going to look up weird lists of last names. Okay. Because we've heard some pretty weird last names. You, have you not? Yeah. I, I would just... You know what I would Google? Last names that you wouldn't believe were last names. Okay. That, I think, ought to come up with some interesting stuff. La- wanna- I-, I think um, there, uh, there was a girl I knew named Mary Rottenbush. That's a tough one. I'm kidding. There wasn't, but I wish there was. Good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Rottenbush? That would be a tough one to get past. Ma- ah, good Lord. What do you okay. got? Surnames that you glad aren't yours. Okay. Let's see if this loads. All right. Um. Well, there was also the fucking baseball player. His name was Dick Pole. Yeah, one of my favorites. Yeah, it's a, or Dick Butkus. I don't know, or Albert Albert Pujols. I don't know how Dick Pole didn't go by Richard. It feels he. I feels like it was pre Dick. Well, I also. <laughs> do you know what <laughs> I mean? It's a funny statement. It was pre Dick. Like there was a there's a guy named Dick Van Dyke. You couldn't break into Hollywood right now with the name of Penis Von Lesbian. I mean, you might be able to. No actually. way, dude. Vic Van Dyke. Dick Van Dyke, Vic Van Dyke. Vic, Vic Van Dyke. Vic is his brother. Dick, but again, if you were getting into Hollywood now, you would lose Van Dyke and you would definitely not. D- n- tell me anybody under the age of 30 that you know whose name is Dick. It doesn't exist. Can I tell you a funny story? Though? No, because I, the people I know whose names are like, I have a, my best one of my best friends' names Richard. is Richard. But I think once we hit a certain age, I'm going to start calling him Dick. R- Dicky, Rich, Rich, Ricky, all that stuff. Dude, let me tell you something. Richie. I forgot what I was going to say. What was I talking about? I had a story to tell you. Last names. Oh, Dick. Brad Wallach. Okay. So I was at a, uh, when we were touring with Chelsea, I was doing a show with Brad and we were, it was in Chicago, I think. And we were in the lobby after the show. And this dude who was Brad's uncle that I didn't know, he walked up to me and, and, and Brad's dad's name is Dick. So, so he, the guy walked up to me, he goes, Hey, and he goes, I go, Hey, and he goes, I'm blah, blah, blah. And I go, Oh, and he goes, I look like Dick, huh? I go, what? He goes, I look just like Dick. Don't I look like Dick? And I was like, I don't know you well enough to comment on if you look like a Dick, but I'm going to take your word for it. Yeah. I kept going. Yeah. You look exactly like Dick. Yeah. And, and but that Brad and I still joke about that. When I, <laughs> he's like, I look like Dick. It was a weird to have a middle-aged dude screaming that at me in the lobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, one here said, uh, my name is Harry Mandick, M-A-N-D-I-C-K. That's his last name, his actual name. Is his first name Harry? Yeah. But why go not with Harold? And why name your kid Harry if your last name is Mandick? Here's the thing. I told you I had a friend of mine who was going to name his kid Doctor. Because he thought it would be funny if his name was Dr. Garcia. And... <laughs> And I was like, it's crazy pressure to put on him, right? Yeah. Because what if he's a janitor and people, his, his name is Doc. Dr. Garcia. Doctor. 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 What else you got besides Harry Mandy? Uh, uh, went to high school. Some dude went to high school with a dude. His last name was Keister. 
Mm-hmm. Um, old wrestling coach. His name was Harry Cox. And yeah, that's you see. Here's a thing. By the way, that sounds like the appropriate name for a wrestling coach. You're, but you're asking for it. Why not go Harold or H. Cox? H. Cox. H. Cox. I don't think I'd like the last name Cox. C O X. No, you'd no. have to learn how to fight. If your last name was like Cox or Mandick, Mandick, Mandick. That's a rough one. M-A-N-D-I-C-K? Correct. Ma- Harry Mandick. I, you know, the origin even of that. We like, used to do a prank call in when we were kids. I would uh, call and ask, because there was a dude in my town named Seymour Wiener. His, his actual name was Seymour Space Wiener? Yeah, so I would call him and I'd go, Hi, just wondering how much more Wiener you can see from there. <laughs> And he'd be like, don't call here again. I'm like, can you see more wiener than I can see? It was so much fun. That's ridiculous. And then we'd always, because we were dumb kids, we would order pizza from this place. And uh, we would call Seymour. And we'd go sit in the place. And we'd be like, hey, this is, we just call it Da Vinci's. Da Vinci's Pizza. You have won a free cheese. You just got to come in to Da Vinci's before seven o'clock between six thirty and seven. And, uh, just tell everybody your name's Seymour Wiener and you're here for your pizza. And so he would come in, man. How many times did you get him? Uh, we only got him once. Oh, okay. He's not going to fall for that more than once. I, I think but, he shouldn't have fallen for it once period. Uh, but it made sense because it's look, man, it was back in the day, dude, where he wasn't calling. He got a phone call from Da Vinci's. He didn't have caller ID. Right. It was a giveaway in town. It's a small town. He's fucking in for it. Go for down. He walked in and he said, I'm Seymour Wiener. I'm here for my pizza. And they were like, what? <laughs> were you guys in the pizza? Like, were yeah. you at the shop laughing at him? Cool. We didn't laugh until he left. Seymour Wiener was bigger than I thought he was going to be. I, I mean, not. Uh, he, well, I mean, elaborate on that a little bit. He didn't not, <laughs> not. He didn't like work out, but he was bigger. He looked, he looked corn fed big. Mm. Do you know one of those like, yeah, a, uh, like uh, a bigger like dude? A, you know those naturally strong looking. I I I can pick up this tractor right now. Like any offensive lineman ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We had. A, I grew up with a lot of those dudes. I grew up in kind of a small town next to you know farming and shit. So there was some a couple corn fed dudes that rolled through our town. There was one guy who got drafted in Dan's high school class. He got drafted in the NFL and ran his forty in. Jeans in Timberlands. The shit kickers. He ran a 40 in jeans, jeans in and Tim's. Tim's. Yeah. He was an offensive lineman. I what think. was the 40 time? I don't remember. You'd have to ask Dan, but he was six seven two. Man, if you're running, here's my thing. He was huge. First dude. of all, that's like the equivalent to Black Air Force One energy nowadays. Like, that's wild. I Dude, if he's running with that much confidence in jeans and Tim's, he had to have run a sub 540. Hmm. I think he was really, you'd have to ask Dan. That's some crazy confidence. Yeah, you'd have to ask Dan. I don't think it was confidence. I think it was. Oh, not confidence, but just like energy. That's, that's like, that's some wild energy. Yo, right you know what Could that he, is, dude? That's somebody who is, he is either scared of, fear of success or fear of failure. failure. Yeah. That's your way of saying, oh yeah, I didn't get it, but I ran it in Tim's. I, you know, if I could have, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That if I way had my cleats on. It's like the dude who plays Horace, but only shoots half court shots. Mm-hmm. You're not really playing, but if you hit all five, you're gonna win. But you're not done, right? But that way you can be like, hey, I was, but I, well, I was shooting half court shots, yeah, yeah because yeah. you didn't want to actually try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, I'm um, look, if you're like me and you love the taste of beer, but you're just not drinking alcohol anymore, I have the best solution for you, man. Best day brewing. I I, I guarantee it. It tastes so good. It tastes just like beer. It is refreshing. It is tasty. For me, the best thing is I can always just pop that can and it's full of nostalgia and full of just memories. And I get to pretend like I'm having a beer with my, my friends or my family in the backyard. It's an amazing thing. Best day brewing. I'm telling you right now, the dude who runs the company is a good dude. Uh, it's a small business. They haven't sold out to some big conglomeration so you can keep the quality and um the taste amazing guys best day brew 
It is the best NA beer you are ever going to try. Give it a run. Your buddy Josh says, it's the best one out there. I haven't heard anything back from you, so I'm releasing the you singing Wrecking Ball. You should. I'm going to, just so you know. I wanted to see the video. You I were... sent you the video. I sent you both videos. When and where? Weeks ago, I texted it to you. Weeks and weeks oh, You texted ago. it to me? Yeah, weeks. You want me to pull up the receipts? You want me to pull up the receipts? Dog, I'll, I'm looking at these photos. Um, wait. Hello. That's you singing Wrecking Where Ball. Where did you send those? Check it out. You want to, uh, do you have your receipts out? No shit. Let me add that to the list of shit I hate your generation say. I got receipts. Check your receipts, dude. Check your receipts. I am. Receipts. Why is there a P in receipts? That's a great question. Receipts? No, receipts. Receipts. Just like, just like, like everybody says prescription, but it's prescription. Yeah. I hate that. Prescription. No, it's prescription. 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 I don't know why I said it like Daffy Duck. <laughs> prescription? What? Yeah, I mean, I guess you did send it to yeah, me. Yeah, I did, man. I sent it to you. Fair enough. How long ago? Check. It, it doesn't actually, like, I'm, yeah, it does. Uh, I'm, brother, uh, hold on. Give me one second. Yeah. I, 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 tell so him. it had to have been sometime right after LA. Yeah. Feels like a couple weeks ago. Yeah, well, it was a couple weeks ago. It doesn't give me, it doesn't give me a, a timestamp. Oh, uh, okay. Though. Well, I'm going to release it. Guys, just so you know, Jacob, I made him sing Wrecking Ball on stage. And, uh, yeah. I'm a little off today. Yeah, I can tell. I'm a little off today. I had a really crazy bout this morning with high blood pressure, and I just have not recovered at all, really. Yeah, you, you seem like, you seem a little punchy. Not punchy. I'm just really off. It was like 190 over something. It was crazy. What, what do you mean by off? Because you, you don't seem like hyped up on energy. You don't seem too no, low on energy. I, my brain's not working too well. My, it's just not working too well. Yeah. Also, but you know, mom said she wasn't feeling well either. Yeah. I don't know what that was. It's that was two a... different things, but also it seems weird that both of you would have some sort of thing the same day. Just two different things. Don't you think? Not really. Okay. Do you? I don't know. I don't think coincidences are real. So I think, think huh? I don't think coincidences are a thing. Like, what do you mean like, you don't think coincidences are a thing? What do you like, think? There's no such thing as a coincidence. Like kind of everything just happens the way it's supposed to happen. Okay, I'll buy that. Yeah, and so, but also like there's a reason for everything that happened. So I don't know. Maybe there's something that is in the house that spiked both of you guys in different ways. Yeah, I don't know. She, what? It's not related at all. The, what the two of us? Yeah. Okay. Are feeling. Yeah, no but it just get, got don't me. Need to get angry at me for. I'm not angry yeah, at all. Just I just, I just am having a hard time mm. lining things up in my brain right now. Fair enough. Um, another one, uh, a rough name that Royals baseball coach R R Rusty Kuntz. Is that his name? C O O N T Z. K U N T Z. That's Kuntz. Rusty Kuntz. Mm, that's a tough name. That's a rough. Yeah, it's plural Rusty Kuntz. R yeah, yeah, plural Rusty Kuntz is his name, um, which is. Just. Yeah. That one's a rough one. Um, I kind of want to do another Urban Dictionary. Hit me. Okay, hold on. You give, 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 give me. Oh, okay. I know this isn't really a discussion point, but while I look for something. Yeah. What's your biggest Karen moment since your generation is Karens? I don't, I don't know that I, you mean where I call the. No, like, do you want, hold, okay. Um, like for me. My I mean, I've gone off on people before. Does that count? I mean, I mean, other than the woman. Uh, the American Airlines representative. Yeah, you know, listen, I, I I'm a human, and um, I you know, especially back during the mold times, when my body was filled with mold, I was really qu much quicker. I would be fine, 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 and then it was just like I hit a anger spot. Right. Uh, but but. Uh, and I used to get mad and I would call, if I got mad at customer service, I would call back and apologize. Wow. There, there really? are oh yeah. There, there've been times where I've called American back. This was years ago. I've gotten my shit together since then, but I called back and I was like, Hey, I know there's no chance that I can talk to that same person, but I'm sure it's in the notes that I was an asshole. And will you just pass along that? I'm really sorry. I don't know what happened. And, but, but when I, when I had all that mold, dude, my, I was quick to emotion a lot. It was a weird, it was a weird time looking right. back, looking back on it, but it felt like my body was 
alive is not the right word, but uh, like there was a million bees flying around in it at all times. Like that all kind right, of aggravation. Interesting. Yeah, it was really annoying. It was really annoying. Right, hit me. So, oh, okay. I was going to give you my Karen story, but we can do this. Okay, first. go, go. So my Karen story is, okay, so it was, we were in Arrowhead for Thanksgiving. Two years ago, something like that. Remember when Iman and I were staying at that hotel? Yeah. And you guys were staying somewhere else? Yeah. I was outside on our balcony. I was smoking some, smoking a joint. And I, I turned my flashlight on to like, you know, check something on the joint or relight it. And there are two, probably 13-year-old kids in the jacuzzi. And they see the flashlight. And they're like, they immediately start screaming. They're like, yo, this guy's filming me. Why are you filming me? Like, and they're just, and I'm like, oh, they're just kids being kids. And then I turn, you know, I turn the flashlight off because I'm like, I, I'm not trying to draw that kind of attention to myself mm -hmm. when 100% I'm not filming the fat eighth graders in the jacuzzi mm -hmm. at 10 p.m. And I'm sitting there smoking and they're still kind of barking. If they hadn't been fat, would you have been filming them? No. Okay. I would <laughs> just clarifying what for the weird, record. What a weird clarification. Just clarifying for the record, just in case I'd ever made it to court. Okay, go ahead. Gross. <laughs> and so they're still kind of like barking at me, like, yo, this guy's filming me, this guy's filming me, whatever. And then they start calling me a pussy. And then they start calling me the F word, the gay one. Mm -hmm. And I and at this point they're just going off, yelling it in the in the pool, like where the courtyard is. And I I just, you know, I was like, oh. I'm about to go get these kids' parents. And I, I put my joint down. I went to the lobby, and I went to the front desk, and I went, hey, the two kids that are in the jacuzzi, I would like you to go find their parents and bring them to me right now. And they were like, why? And I go, bring them to me? Bring them to me. I, okay. go, I go, I would like to have a discussion with their parents about how they raised their kids. No! Wowzers. Oh, oh yeah. And they were like, okay, can you tell me why? And I was like, you can be present when I have this conversation because you're going to want them out that pool. And they, and they, they're like, walks over this group of parents over to the right and they go, hey, whose two kids are in the pool? Yeah. And it's the biggest dude there stands up. And I was like, oh, son of a bitch. And then the mom walks over from the other kid. And they're like, hey, is there a problem? And I'm like, yeah, those, those are your two kids in the pool. And they're like, yeah. And I was like, cool. I just want you to know, like, I, I don't know what y'all do at home. But, like, I'm here on vacation for Thanksgiving, trying to enjoy my time smoking on my balcony. And your kids are screaming obscenities at me for no reason. Obscenities. Obscenities. Sorry. Obscenities at me for no reason and claiming that I'm filming them and claiming that this and that. They're calling me this word. They're calling me this word. And I just want to know if you guys are okay with that. And they said, well, that doesn't sound like our kids. And I was like, that's not what I said. I go, every parent doesn't think that's what their kids do. But I'm telling you right now, there's no reason I would come down out of my room at 1030 at night to make up something about your two kids in the jacuzzi. Yeah. And they were like, well, we'll have to ask them if that happened. And I was like, you're going to ask two 13-year-old boys to tell you the truth about yeah. calling me calling me a pussy. Yeah. And, a, and I'm not going to say the other words yeah. just for the sake of it. And I'm like, you expect them to tell you the truth? And they were like, well, yeah, there are kids. And I was like... I was like, okay. I was like, whatever you guys, whatever helps you sleep at night, that's fine. But I looked at the hotel front desk and I was like, I'm going to need security to get them out. And they're like, well, you can't have them kicked out. And I was like, well, I can if they're disrupting my peace and screaming in the courtyard at 1030 while we're all trying to go to sleep. And I went back up to my room, sat on the balcony again and relit my joint and watched the parents and security go out to talk to the kids. And the kids are screaming. No, I would never say that. I wouldn't do that. And the parents are dragging them by their arms out of the pool. And I just sat there and like sipped a cup of tea and just ashed my joint and went to bed. Wow. Yeah, dude. nah. Yeah, man. I, that, that's uh, my, is that a proud moment for you? A not proud moment? Or you're, you're, you would do it again the same way? Uh, I think, look, I think it's all situational for me. I think mm -hmm. in that moment, I was just like, yeah, I'm not. I'm not here for this. I think that was also the night that Milo. We had we experienced Milo having one of his first seizures. Yeah. So I was kind of already on edge. That's why I went outside to smoke. And I just there are certain times where I just will go inside and I'm not having it. But that I had usually I'm just like ah, it's not worth the time. Oh, I had time. I just decided to that night. I was like, oh, I got some time. And guess what? You go. You go learn today. Like I, I'm. I'm doing it. And would it be my first option the next time it happens? No. But you bet your ass I'd do it again. Yeah. 
I think every hey, look there were I was we were thirteen year old kids. I, I, I've done the same thing yeah, in a in a uh, pool, whatever. But I, I might I might get him out of there if there was any shit to me too. Yeah, and also you never know who you're screaming at. I can I tell Do you, you know what though? I mean? Like I could have been a buck wild out of my mind, dude. Yeah, do you know what I mean? I was pretty calm about it, and I was pretty civil about yeah. it. But I was like to the parents, I was like. I don't know. I was like, all I know is that I was a kid. I've done that before, and I've been reprimanded for it. Do, but like, y'all gonna have to do something. You were asking me about generation stuff. Do you think your generation has gone too far? Like, there's, it's not actually that's not your generation. That was started with the millennials, I think. The, there are just some words that I just, I want back. There are some we've words we've talked about this. I want back. I want. Listen, I know I'll never get gay back. But I'll tell you something right now. Gay never meant gay when you called someone gay. Gay didn't, gay didn't, you never called someone who was gay, gay. No. Or the other word. Uh, but Do you know what I mean? Uh, but I get, I get the other one. Gay, <sighs> you, just because I could be like, oh, dude, because it doesn't mean gay. It just means gay. Do you know, like, <laughs> yeah, great job explaining that. Yeah, dude. Gay doesn't mean when I call it, if I would be like, dude, that's gay. That didn't have anything to do with gay. It just meant it was gay. Do you know? I mean, I know, but I don't know if everybody else knows. But what I, 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 I know I'll never get gay back, but I, I hope I can get, I can get back calling someone a gay lord. Gay lord was like my fave. But then we, we were just somewhere where there was a street called Gaylord Avenue. Yeah, dude, there was a guy named Gaylord Perry who was a Hall of Fame pitcher. People used to be named Gaylord. What a tough name at this moment in time. Gaylord? I feel like that's a tough That's a tough name in any moment in time. Nah, dude. But Gaylord, we used to... Uh, Tom Brunel and I have talked about this. We could just call someone... Who's, uh, who's Tom Brunel for, for people? Uh, he might not want me to say. Okay. So, but you know who he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was uh, just trying to be you where it's like give more details. Yeah, but I don't want to give details about Yeah, you. I was just trying to be annoying. Yeah. <laughs> but I would love to be able to be able to get back and be like, ah, yeah, gay lord, because that doesn't mean gay lord. It doesn't mean anything, actually. Gay lord doesn't mean anything. No, at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gay, gay I don't know if I would rather there are two words, the two words I want the most back. Mm -hmm. Gay mm -hmm. and retarded. Fair enough. Not retard, because I think calling somebody that is meant to be an insult. Yeah, 100 percent so I think there's a big difference, but the word retarded, you know, I use it in my act uh -huh. during one of, and I can see people get upset by the word. Mm -hmm. And I bet you, if I asked them, why are you upset? I'm not sure they could tell me why. True. because the word's offensive. Why? Why? Because the word's offensive. Why? Because I'm describing somebody who's mentally retarded. I, which is a term that we used to use. In not a negative way. Mm -hmm. There are just, a, a, I think you're right. It's like millennials or like a certain generation decided to take, it to, a, take it to a point to where like, oh, we're, we're going to decide for that group of people that this is offensive. None of the words that were set up were okay. Yeah. But mental, like if you Google Mental retardation. If you Googled the word retarded, it would, I Come think, up. probably say slow. Google retarded. And I think if you probably Google gay, it probably means happy. Mm -hmm. That's I think so too. Right. Except when we said it, it would just be, you would just be like goofy. The first of all, so it is definitions from Oxford languages. Yeah. The very first thing it says offensive. To, uh, right, right there, right there. It just says offensive or dated. That's offensive to me. And it says less advanced in mental, physical, or social development than is usual for one's age. Yeah, but other things can be retarded. That don't have to do with, if you don't put the word mentally in front of it, I think when something is, re it means it's slower. Is yeah. That, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm with you, man. I, All right. Yeah. Yeah. I, and, and generally the people who, now I will say, man, I have some friends who have a child who is disabled, not mentally retarded, but they, because their child is disabled, they that word no longer is okay with them. And that I understand. That I totally understand. Yeah. That I totally understand. 
and I would get it if 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 it was the majority of people out making fun of retarded people. Mm-hmm. That's not what's happening either. Right. But but yeah, I I there's just some those two words I want back. I'm never gonna get either one of them back. No. And and I don't feel bad that I want them back. I know who I am. I know the intent with which I say things. I I, I can't help how you receive them but I'm no longer changing everything I say or do in preparation for how other people receive them. Right. If you're going to ask me to do that, I'm going to ask you to, before you get mad, think of my intent. Right. That's all I'm going to do. And if I can control you and your emotions with a word like that, then I feel like I'm probably in the driver's seat on this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I, 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 I'm yeah, listen, I'm not gonna run on off it, run for office on those platforms. I hope not. I mean, some people might support you though. Are you kidding? I actually here's what I think. You actually base if those are just your first if my first three were kid free airlines. Great idea. Every Monday off. Great idea. Getting rid of daylight savings. Great idea. And everybody can say retarded again. I'm winning. I am winning. If I just ran on daylight savings and retarded, I bet you I would win. It would be close. I would get the vote of everybody under the age of 30. Mm, that's true. Yeah, because they'd be like, is he, I, I, yeah, he thinks like I think. It, because you maybe, know, maybe not the, maybe not the, re, the retarded one. Cause I feel like people under the age of 30, I feel like that's my generation who are more conscious of not. Yeah, but then I, that's the, oh, that's my age and over. Right? That's my age and over. Everybody wants the word back. Right. Yeah. I think, I think you want to say 30 and over, not 30 and under. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Because 30 and under is actually where you'd lose your votes. Yeah, and one. most people with 30 and under are retarded anyway. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't wait to read all that your hate-filled comments underneath the video. Jesus. I thought he was a nice guy. You just... It's so easy to joke. trigger some people. Yeah. Man, I, I watch people in the audience when I do that joke. And you, if you all mo- haven't seen me, then you, and this show's joke hasn't been posted yet, but it really tricks people into being mad. And then at the end, laughing. Yeah. And the purpose of the joke is to show you that you got mad before you even knew what the joke was about. Yeah. Yeah. You got mad at a word without knowing what the story or the intention of the story mm-hmm. or anything was about. Now, I, I, and 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 don't equate that word with people like. Well, then, can you say the N word? Nah, no. There's a the history of the N word is irrefutable, and there's no reason for any person who I, I you know if you're black, you want to say it. That's up to you. But there's if no. You're re- not. This just it's just not it's just not okay. Well, for me, like I also feel like the. The, the black community, and I'm not trying to speak for this community, but this is what I see as an outsider. The black community has taken that word of derogatory meaning and turned it into like like a, a, a word of unity. Like they use it as like where it's like a brother or it's family. Like it's like my friends, it's yeah. my people. Like they've turned that word into their word. Do you know what I'm saying? It's always been their word, but they turned it from somebody... A, a, you know, the white race using it as derogatory meaning to now taking it back and, and using it for their own, you know, self-expression and unity in their community. I agree with that. I hadn't thought of that. That's interesting. Which is interesting. Take. Exact, which I fucking love is how it should uh, work. Can I tell you though, my, the best example I can give you of intent in words and how you take them is the word Jew. Now people say Jew all the time and, but you can say it in a way where you can tell, oh, that's that's not a nice way to say that. No, no. I would say that with everything else. I would say that with retarded and gay. Tone. It's all about tone and tone intent. Tone and intent, man. It's a, how are you going to take it? Anyway, I don't want to go, yeah, yeah, go yeah. down too down yeah, yeah, rabbit hole on that. All hit, right. hit me with the term. Clutch oven. Clutch oven? Clutch oven. Well, I know what a Dutch oven is. A Dutch oven is when you fart in, uh, under the blankets and you pull the blankets up so people have to smell it. Correct. So I don't know what that has to do with the Dutch, but very nice. Yes, yes, very nice. Clutch oven is all right. I, I, I is it a sex act? No. Woo! 
okay. Um, is it gross? Yes. Okay. I mean, is I mean, it yeah. something that one person does to another person? Yes. Okay. Or multiple people. Okay. Is it farting in somebody's purse and sealing it up like a like a clutch? By the way, what a great thought. It's not, but I wish it was. Oh, my buddy used to fart in people's purses at bars. That's so funny. When they were hanging over the seat, you would just watch him walk up and he'd he'd be like, and you'd walk and he'd just put his <laughs> That's pretty funny. He would fart in the purse. That's pretty funny. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Uh, but you yeah, listen, guys are guys. This is one of the reasons I like dudes. Yeah. You know, women think, are you see how fucking around? No, he was farting in people's purses last night. Like, we... <laughs> he's not fucking around. He's he's <laughs> farting in purse. Um, okay. Is it have to do with the purse? No. All right. I'll get one more guess. Or two more guesses. You could have a couple more. I just uh, like you're uh, you're you're far enough off to where well, is it anything to do with feces? No. Okay. I but I mean, like to just help you out, it does have to deal with farting. It does. Yeah. So you were on the right path with Dutch oven. Okay. But just, you know. Okay. You fart in a paper in a plastic bag and then you put it over somebody's head and they asphyxiate as they're smart smelling your fart. Final guess. Ready go. First of all, that's dark. <laughs> Second of all, no. what a fucking terrible way to go. You're like, oh. that's that's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, that would be terrible. That's awful. By the way, the acid farts I had the other day were so bad. So bad. Yo. He, hold on, before I tell you the definition of clutch oven, this man, when we got into the elevator, go to our shows on Saturday, <laughs> he decided to wait till we got in the elevator to rip ass with acid farts, and he was like, oh, I can't wait to play this prank on somebody who walks in the elevator. And then nobody walked in the elevator. The and prank he, was on us. And he gassed us <laughs> out of the elevator. I, I almost got out at a different floor and switched elevators. Can, by the way, I love farting in elevators uh, I, I hold them and I wait till I get in and I fart and then I want people to walk on and just, I look at them set into the face. Can I tell you something that happened to me that had never happened to me before? My, the acid poops were so bad, I had to stop pooping and walk out of the bathroom. You shitted I, yourself out. I shit myself out of the bathroom. It was the great, I have never done that before. That's wild. Yeah. I was I thought you the, courtesy flush for yourself. I was. It didn't matter for whatever reason. It didn't matter. That means your asshole just smelled that bad. It was no the fumes in the room. It was bad because I let a couple out first. Mm. Yeah, acid gas is no joke. No. All right. So it's a fart and it's not a clutch. Okay, I don't know what it is. Okay, the clutch is a a purse. clutch oven is to fart in a car full of people, crank the heat, roll up the windows, and lock them for maximum effectiveness. Apparently, adding the heat to the fart. Yeah, that really what, is. does that does that add to it? I think so. I didn't know that. I feel like it makes it heavier. Hot air is heavier. Feels like you know, light air. When it's cold, it feels like lighter. Yeah. And the hot air feels like heavier and kind of seeps into your clothing. Yeah. I've clutch oven people before. I didn't know it was a clutch oven. Well, you crank the heat. Oh yeah. You never done that to me. Uh, I used to crank the heat to push you to sleep in the car. Yeah, you would purposely give me heat stroke. Well, not stroke, but I definitely did knock you out. I turned the music up real loud and then the heat up and because I couldn't put, I was trying to put all three of you to sleep at yeah. once. You, I mean, you were a bunch of sweaty rag muffins by did the time just, I got you back to the. Did you carry all three of us upstairs? Like, did, wouldn't you have to wake us up in order to get us back into the apartment? Yeah, but you were so, you know, you were dehydrated and you didn't have any electrolytes. You were probably pretty wiped out. And so I would carry you and Caitlin up and then Trevor had to walk. <laughs> I couldn't carry. There was a time when I would carry all three. If you were in the baby Bjorn, right? And yeah. then I could carry each one of Trevor and Kate. I would have to carry Trevor over my head. Yeah, yeah, fire, yeah. Fireman carry him. Uh -huh. And Kate like this and you and the baby Bjorn. But then there were times when I had to, I had all three of you and I was walking our St. Bernard. Oof. That, well, because the one day I let Trevor hold him, the St. Bernard started to run and Trevor had tied he the leash to his waist to his wrist. Oh, we. Oh, dude. Yeah, Bud was one hundred and forty pounds. Yeah, I feel like you know what would have been funny if you had gotten me like gotten me like a little like like saddle for Bud. I feel like I could have. Well, you sat on him anyways. He didn't mind that. Well, that's what I'm saying though. Like for the walks though, you could have gotten me like a saddle and a strap, and I could have just walked, just sat there on Bud the entire time like this. Do do do. Awesome. Yeah. You well, 
He, I'm not sure he would have loved it, but he loved you. Dude. He loved me. He so did love you. He would have been fine with it. He hated Trevor. And he hated Scott Wolf. Why did he hate Scott Wolf? I don't know. He tried to bite his nuts when we were moving out. He went right after his nuts. Hilarious. Oh, he tried to bite Scott Wolf's nuts. I remember I was watching it. I was like, oh, that was close. Was party, like, party of two. Yeah, that would have been. <laughs> would have been down to party of three. If he had got if, if he had gotten if he had gotten Big Jim and the twins, that's party of two. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a rough tough. one. Dude, clutch oven. When you, what'd you Google the funniest ones? I or? just uh, this is the same one that I had last time that uh, gave us Charizarding. Charizarding is still I th- is gonna be a double puddle comes close to Charizard. Yeah, but I, Charizarding is undefeated right now. I got a, I got one that I know is not on here uh, that I can say if you want to guess. No, let's save them one. I think one a week is plenty of okay. Urban Dictionary. Yeah, the one that I have is uh, not safe for work. Okay. It's uh it's I think it's honestly it's 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 worse than Charizarding. Okay, well I can't wait. Yeah, it's you know I like that shit. Yeah, yeah. What else do you want to talk about? I forget by now. Oh. Oh, you know what, dude? There's a guy on TikTok who is a comedian, but he it, the clips he's posted, I guess, are he's built a set in his living room and put a laugh track on. And he's got over a million followers and people are mad. Let's just say hypothetically that there's a comedian who's gained a million followers by faking most of his videos. Theoretically, let's just say this guy exists. Uh, Green screen background of different stages. There's also a laugh track that he adds into some of them. What do we do about that? Uh, There's a couple options. I guess we just let go and let God just let him keep doing it. Uh, do we call him out on it publicly? Because I, it's so obvious to us. Does he know that we know? I just have so many questions. You see this? Enjoy filming stand up in your closet. So what he what he he tells jokes in his living room. He tells jokes in his living room to a laugh track. It's well shot. It looks like he's on a stage. Um, and it's clear he's clearly not. But like he's got a ton of followers his jokes are whatever fine but i some comics are mad and i'm uh, who gives a fuck at the end of the day mad mad at what well that he you know he's got all these followers and people think he's a stand-up and and i think he's performing live now but at the end of the day good for him for figuring out a hack and getting over a million followers and getting people to buy tickets, man. That's what the game is. 100%. Now, will he be funny enough once people see him live and realize that, oh, there weren't actual people, people laughing, laughing at these jokes? So they may not actually, right? Yeah. Who knows? But he'll have to figure that out himself. Yeah. But he, I love the fact. You know what I love about this time and art is that there's no rules. Yeah. There's no rules to why somebody will be huge and. Dude, and what people like, you know, there's that one dude that I show you all the time, Joey Bro. Oh, the old white dude? I fucking love this guy. And he's just, look, man, he does some karaoke straight to camera. Um, He's got a great mullet. He does have a great mullet and great stash. He goes tank with it tucked into his jeans, and he's jacked. I mean, he's probably 140 pounds, but he's jacked. For me, he looks like what Joe Dirt would look like at 70. And I know he probably gets a lot of those comments. Here's what I love about him. That's not a bad thing, by the way. No, here's what I love about him. He's, look, man, is he the best singer in the world? No. No. And who gives a fuck? He doesn't. No, dude, and neither should you, because here's the deal. He's, what we've learned about all of these things is authentic. Mm -hmm. He's authentically him. And Gives two fucks about what you think about what he wears. He, 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 you know, before he goes to the gym, he has his three hard boiled eggs with ketchup on it. Yeah, man, whatever. He'll tell you, he'll talk to you about Brazil nuts. I like watching them fish, you know, and I like that he says, damn it, boys. Like that shit makes me laugh, but he's so authentic. Yeah. And so there's just different ways to do it now. Hmm? There's different ways. And so I, I know some comics are mad, but I think the comics that are mad are the comics. That haven't figured out how to do it. There it is. They're they're mad that they, that he's done it a different way. That's not orthodox. They're mad that they're going to the open mics, and I get it because I did too. They're mad that they're signing up, that they're not making money, that they're in their mind working at the craft. 
but he's obviously writing jokes. He's working on his craft just a different way. He's obviously writing jokes. He's just found a cheat. That's yeah. it. And so I, it doesn't bother me at all. It's no. just like, it's just like, you know, um, there's a woman on the Real Housewives, this girl named, woman named, I think her name is Nene Leakes. Do you watch the Real Housewives? No, no, no. But she was, <sighs> she was touring comedy clubs and there were comics who were mad. And I was like, yeah, but like. What's she doing at a comedy club? She does just like what a lot of these other celebrities do, the wrestlers or they or the the soap stars, they rent out the comedy club or they book it. And and it's more like telling stories. The mistake they made is trying to make is trying to be stand up. They don't want it. It's like Hackshot Jim Duggan or or Mick Foley when he goes. He's smart. He doesn't try to do stand up. He right. tells stories about wrestling. Right. And that's but by the way, when Steve O started, he started telling stories about Jackass. Yeah. And eventually wrote jokes. Mm -hmm. But point being, dude, don't just, everybody's going to do it their own different way. Some are going to work. Some are going to not. Yeah. I think the people who are mad are the people, I don't know any successful people who are mad. But because, Zero. Because they don't have, who cares? Yeah. It's got nothing to do with me. This dude, P, P, D, P, B, B, D, P, D, P, 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 B, B. What's his name, Matt? P, P D P B B B B B something. Is there's two E's in the name, uh, and it's a four letter name. Hmm. So there's not that many options. <laughs> it was a long train of thought for you on that one. I'm not gonna lie. I'm telling you, dude, my brain. Yeah, something something's happening right now. Yeah, I'm stuttering a little bit. My brain's not firing. I I don't think the blood pressure is still high, but it did kind of. Uh, it but, was for a while. Did today. it just, but also did you, seeing the number 190, did it just kind of mentally just like. Fuck me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll for tell sure. you why it fucked me up, dude. Because I'm a healthy guy. And it almost made me mad. Because I'm like, well, what the fuck am I doing this stuff for? What, what, what the fuck am I getting? What, why am I working out like this? Why do I eat like this? Right? Why do I take these supplements? If it doesn't matter if I could just eat fries. 100%. So 100%. It, it made me mad today. I, yeah. call, I called my dad and he was like, yeah, my parents have it. Your mom's parents have it. I have it. Your mom has it. You probably gonna have it. And he said, don't, I was mad too because my dad was, is a super athlete. Yeah. He was at 87. He, he told me though. he was like, when I first, and I said, how old were you? He said, I was like, probably late forties, early fifties. And he said, I was so mad. And I was like, me too, you know? Yeah. And I feel like your dad telling you that he's had the same experience as you, I felt like would be kind of reassuring. Definitely was reassuring. It just hasn't, and but I just talked to him on the way up, It, but it just hasn't reset. I'm still just super spacey. Yeah. So I, yeah. I don't know. I didn't know how today was going to go. Um, I, and like, as I found myself stuttering a bunch earlier, which was a fucking bummer. Uh -huh. Um, and just not being able to put my thoughts. Yeah. Which well, is which is fine if I'm on drugs. I was going to say, there are sometimes both, we just can't put our thoughts together, high blood pressure or not. Dude, did you see that clip that I posted of me thinking you were on stage with me? Yep. Still one of my favorites. Ridiculous. Had you, you hadn't seen that, obviously, because you were in back. I think I was either in back or setting up merch or doing something else. Yeah. I, I was doing my job. Yeah. I'm going to have to talk to you about that. Um. Yeah, the, the that was so crazy I, to just be like, I thought you were standing next to me the whole time. But I think you had left like 10 minutes ago. If you had your guitar out and you were doing your last song, I'd been gone for a minute. Yeah. Like a cool minute. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, yeah, I don't know this, how or why you thought I was there because I'm never up there when you get your guitar out. This week's Mushroom Show is going to be, I mean, the one that we just filmed. Yeah, before. yeah, yeah. Crazy. I can't good wait. Good comedy. Good comedy weekend. Great comedy weekend. Mm. Um, what else you got? Anything else? We're, we're at practically at our time. We are? Yeah. We're at 58 minutes right now. Okay. Um, let me ask you, man, as a, as a younger, uh, comic, um, does that bother you that that dude shoots in his living room? No, not at all. He, like you said, he has found a little bit of a cheat code to give himself a little bit of a jump start, which is fucking great. And in this business with every, and I mean this in the nicest way possible, but also not. Everybody thinks they're a comedian. Do you know what I mean? Like everybody thinks they could do stand up comedy. Like everybody thinks it's easy. But the great, here's the thing why it doesn't bother me. 
the great equalizer is the stage. And he's either going to be funny oh, or he's not. That's what I was getting to, though. Yeah. It's like He's found a little cheat code to get himself a little further ahead, and that's great. And either that cheat code is going to work in his favor or end his career way early or turn it to just a social media career. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's what that cheat code is going to do for him. It's either going to open new doors for him and he's actually going to be really good at this or he's going to be just as funny as people thought he was, I which, think, is, which is where he should be doing jokes in his living room. I think, just judging by, I think this kid's going to be gonna. I don't think his jokes are great now. He, he They can't be. He hasn't been writing jokes for long enough. But, but I think he's, just judging by what they are right now, I think he's going to be fine. Man. And, I, and look, dude, I love that people are getting into stand-up. I love... I, me, me, no, me too. It's I not, love it, dude. It, it's not me to say that don't get into stand-up, don't try it. Like, that's not at all what I'm saying. But there are a lot of people who are like, you're funny situationally. There was one time I was with some friends at a bar, and it was probably a couple years ago, and uh, I met their friend group, and there's this dude, he's telling a story. Everybody in the group is laughing, and he says out loud, I could do 45 minutes on stage. And I... I had half a beer left and I went, excuse me? And this was before I was even doing stand-up. Yeah. I finished my drink and I was like, say what you said. He goes, I think I could do 45 minutes. I go, brother, you couldn't even do five. He was like, I just made everybody in this circle laugh for 10 minutes. I go, yeah, these are all inside jokes and stories. Your friends? No. Yeah. I go, you think that story's funny? Go tell it on stage. And then you think you're, and then nobody laughs. What happens when nobody laughs and you think your second joke is funnier than your first joke? Do you know every, what I mean? Every like, time you hit that, by the way, it makes a gunk. Oh, sorry. Yep. I'm like, what? I'm like, what happens? What happens then, brother? Yeah. I was like, comedy is not easy. Do you know the I thing? Like, that I was like, I've, I've never done it. My dad's a, a vet in this game, and I've watched people try, and I've watched him put his work in. I was like, your inside jokes are funny to your friends. Your inside jokes are not funny to a crowd of you, random people who don't know who the fuck you are. Yeah. I was like, so I was like, so maybe you should try five minutes, but don't be disrespectful, and let's let's keep you humble. You couldn't even do five. Like, I just don't, it's that attitude where it's like, you can make your friends laugh. Oh, I could do stand-up comedy. Buddy. That confidence is... We're going to have to wrap up. I just don't got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Um, yo, we're in San Diego this weekend. It's Dad's weekend. Daddies, sugar daddies. Bring, bring your dads. I don't know. Everybody show up. It's going to be fun. Um, San Diego this weekend. Hawaii the weekend after. And then we're off until 4th of July weekend here in Vegas. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, ComedianJoshWolf.com for tour dates and tickets. Um, Josh Wolf Comedy on all platforms. It's Jake Wolf on TikTok, Jake underscore Wolf on Instagram. He might walk out by the time I finish all of this right now. But uh, thank you guys always for tuning in, the newbies, the oldies. Uh, go tell a friend. We're having a great time. None of this would be possible without y'all. Uh, Jackson Odell, I love you, brother. I'll see you soon. And uh, tell somebody you love them today. Do someone nice for someone. We love you guys. Later. Hey, if you like this podcast you just watched, you're going to love the one I'm popping up in your face right now. Check it out.